Hey developers, we agreed that our work is to solve problems, right? We have another one. In your .tnv file, we have this session lifetime. And I believe for you it's reading 120. And that means if you spend 120 minutes without interacting with the server, your session will be destroyed and technically you'll be logged out. So change it to one minute to make it easy to test. Then after that, go to your browser, log in. Then you'll be redirected to the dashboard spend one minute without doing anything then after that try refreshing your page and you'll notice that you no longer have the user's name here and if you check your network you see you have this for one status code unauthorized so we sent the session that we had from our browser but when it reached the server it was destroyed so it was not authenticated and that's why we are not able to fetch the name. And if you check your view component using the view developer tools, you'll see that logged in is still reading true and yet we are logged out. If you also check your local storage, authenticated is still reading true and we are not authenticated now. So it will be nice if a user spends on 20 minutes without interacting with the server and they try to load this component in any way, we, re, we, 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 we redirect them to the login page and we also reset, we also clear the local storage and we also reset this to false. And to do that is very easy. Just go to your dashboard and then here where we have mounted, so we were just console logging an error before, so we will stop doing that. And what we will do is that we will check if error.response.status is 401 that we are getting now, which means we are unauthorized. We will emit this update sidebar event. And remember this was toggling the login status. So now we can see that the login status is true. It will be toggled to false. Then we are going to remove the authenticated key so we will no longer be authenticated and then redirect them to login so the moment i save this and go to the browser you will notice that we are redirected to the dashboard and if you try to do what you've done again you will see that after one minute if you try to refresh or click on the dashboard it will redirect you to the login page so now you can change this back to 120 minutes and that's it for this lesson. See you in the, in the next lesson where now we will start implementing CRUD functionalities of our categories. Cheers.